Rotisserie Pinata here, and today I'm going to show you how to unmod New Vegas. Probably something you didn't expect from this channel. So, first off, you're going to open up your mod manager. In this case, I'm using Fallout Mod Manager. If you have something like Mod Organizer, Nexus Mod Manager, Vortex, which is absolute trash, and various other ones, you'd, you'd follow the same steps. So, <clears throat> First, head to your mod manager, and you'll see all these wonderful plugins. In this case, I have FOM. So, I will go to the package manager. If you have Nexus mod manager, you just go in the mods tab. If you have mod organizer, you go to its respective tab. And you'll see all of this. These are all the mods you have active. And there are several ways to do this. If you want to make sure your game Except for, for example, if you want to remove most of the mods, but keep some of them, you'll do the following method. You'll delete some. First, you'll deactivate the plugin. So in this case, deactivating those plugins. And then, you will delete the plugin. Or in this case, just do it that way. Delete, delete. And now if you go back to your load order, you can see that my merge is very upset. Now it's red. It's probably not a good thing considering its name. So now, I've upset the merge patch and it is no longer doing anything. Now this is the long method. This takes quite a while. There's also a brute force method you can do. Note what your mod manager is called and where it is installed. In this case, Fallout Mod Manager. So, go to the directory it's installed. If you had Nexus Mod Manager, it would either be in x86 or standard program files. So, in this case, the garbage is there. But for x86 on my install, I have Fallout Mod Manager under program files x86 on the hard drive. Go there, and data. As you can see, it didn't install the mods where it's supposed to, so that's kind of upsetting. But, regardless, you'll navigate to wherever it's installed and you'll find it. So in this case, games. So go to games and then you'll find the install. So Fallout New Vegas, this is where Nexus Mod Manager defaults. Go to Fallout New Vegas, mods, and now this is where all my mods are stored. So all these mods here, they're stored in this directory. The drive you chose, games, Fallout New Vegas, mods. So, all this stuff is here, and if you so choose, you can remove it. I'll just copy this because I think that mod was fine. So, put that there. And now, first you'll close Fallout Mod Manager, and you will select all except for the cache. You don't want to delete that. And then, delete. Note, this will upset FOM. So if I go into it, it says, Oh no, what have you done to me? Would you like to uninstall the missing phone mod? And it'll say this for everything. It'll be really upset. This mod manager will despise your existence. And now, because I don't want to deal with it anymore, I will close it. I click the wrong button. I will close it again. But this time with task manager. For the added fun. So, destroy Fallout mod manager. Huzzah. As you can see, there's nothing left in our mod manager. If you want to be extra thorough, you can delete the cache, like this. Or you can be even more thorough and delete the entire folder. Now, your mod manager has no idea what you've done, and it has no idea that Fallout New Vegas ever existed. And now, we're going to go to your Steam directory. So, go to whichever drive has Steam, in this case, WD Black. Program Files x86. Steam. Steam Apps, Common, and then you're going to find Fallout New Vegas. Now, I feel really bad for New Vegas right now because of what I'm about to do. So as you can see here, here are all my files. You can see NVSE, you can see the 4 gigabyte enabler, you can see a bunch of things. If you go in Source, you can actually find some more pieces of it. Fun fact, if you have TTW, you can actually go inside and see the videos. So, for example, this. You can replace it with whatever you want. So, aside from that, 
you will have to delete all of this. I know it'll be upsetting, but you have to do it. So, select all, and this pains me to do, but I'll do it from the main directory. Go to New Vegas, and delete. As you can see, it'll take quite a while. It's discovering all these files, and this pains me to destroy my, my beautiful New Vegas TTW install, but it has to be done for the sake I have obliterated Fallout New Vegas. And if you want to be extra thorough, you're going to remove the uh, shortcuts you made. So in this case, if I try to run this, it's going to say, oh no, no, you can't do that. Oh no, see, you can't do it. It doesn't exist. So, unpin from start, I have a blank there, a hole in my heart. And if you want to be super extra thorough, you can remove it from wherever else you've stored the uh, shortcut. So, TTW 3.2 doesn't exist anymore, I just destroyed it. And you can do that. Now, to progress past this point, you're going to want to reinstall it via Steam, I mispronounced via, through Steam, GOG Galaxy, or wherever else you got the game. If you have a game that's pirated, then, I don't know, good luck to you, buy the game. But aside from that, you will install it. And this is a cardinal sin, what I'm about to do, but go to New Vegas, click uninstall. As you can see, it's gone instantly. And then you'll go down to games, and you'll find Fallout New Vegas in your list of garbage. So, New Vegas, install, next. And then wait for it to allocate disk space for Fallout New Vegas. It'll take a little bit of time. And then you can just wait for it there. So, once this progress bar finishes with the preloading files, and see so now it's... So now, your wonderful game is reinstalling itself, it's putting itself back together, and you can take this time to be extra thorough, and make sure you do this, you have to do this, go to My Games, Fallout New Vegas, and delete all of this. So, good job. I'm keeping these because these are the files I have made. So you'll wipe out the iron eyes and let the game install. It's probably best if you do this before reinstalling it via Steam or wherever else because I may have deleted it as it was reacquiring the files, but if that happens, all you have to do is to go, go to Installed, Properties, Local Files, and then do Verify Integrity at Game Cache. And that's essentially it. Once this is finished downloading, you can go and install 4GB Enabler, either through the 4GB Enabler or the 4GB Patcher. I prefer the Enabler. Then you install NVSE, get your mod manager running, and then you'll want to get uh, Lutana NVSE, uh, JIP NVSE, which are now just Lutana LN. And from that point, you can install whatever you'd like. So, hope this helps you all out, and have a good one. If you'd like to see further mod videos or tutorials or other streams or uh, steamed hams, dead memes, then let me know and have a good one. If you'd like to uh, catch up on behind the scenes, I have a link to my awful Discord server in the description if you would be so inclined. Have a good one.